Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another fun, like, at home idea, except this time we're not actually remodeling a room. I'm just adding something really cool to our dining room that I've been contemplating, but I didn't want it to look cluttery. But I decided I'm gonna do it and see. So today I'm putting together a plant stand in my dining room area. I currently have 23 plants, and I decided that just definitely was not enough plants. So it's time for more. So I already purchased the plant stand. I haven't put together anything yet. Um, it just came, and then we have to go plant shopping. So we're gonna go do that and figure out how we want to design it. So if you're looking to do your own type of plant stand, DIYing a plant stand, or just kind of figuring out how to decorate a plant stand, then keep watching and let's get started on my plant stand in our dining room. So right here is where the plant stand will go. So um, nice little space right here. I think that will be a nice spot. So we'll see how it looks. Here is the box that was delivered. So let's get this beauty together. Just a little less lonely sounds cliche, but it's true. I've been missing someone like you. I've had a share of the heartbreakers. Stop letting them in. All right. It's in its little spot. It's so cute. Love it. Cannot wait to decorate this. Cutie, look at this. There she is. Wow. It looks so good. And it was seriously like super easy to put together. And I'm absolutely loving that arch. I wasn't sure if I was gonna love having like an arch, but I wanted to kind of change it up. We're gonna head to some nurseries here in Fort Collins to find some plants for my new plant shelf. So really quickly before we go, I took a measurement of the distance between the shelves, which is about 14 inches. That way when I'm looking for plants, I can have an idea of when the plants grow, how tall they'll get. I don't wanna buy a plant and then it's gonna be like taller eventually and then it won't eventually fit in here. So let's go ahead to some nurseries and go plant shopping. So the first one we're going to here is Bath Nursery. We haven't been to this one for so long. It's so pretty. I can't wait to check it out. Oh, it's so pretty. Tall fiddle trees. <laughs> Birds get out do just Let me come here. These leaves blow my mind. They're just gorgeous. And they're huge. The turtles. <laughs> Chilling on their beautiful little waterfall garden. I think I might grab one of these. There it's a Swiss cheese philodendron basket because I definitely want something that's gonna be like flowy and grow long to kind of hang down the side. So I think I'm gonna try this. I don't have this. I have a lot of the pythos and I don't need more of those, but this could be a good alternative. So now we are at Gully's Greenhouse. They just have so much selection here for house plants. It's true. I've been someone like you. I've been missing. I've and look at this beauty. Oh my gosh. It's a Pelia and it's $19.99. Beautiful. Here is the Swiss cheese basket that I just purchased at Bath. So this is $90, but it's a lot bigger, of course, and it's already like starting to really hang. But I paid $35 for the little guy I had. So eventually mine will look like this. And I think I'm gonna for sure get this one. I'm just really pretty leaf on it. That's what it is. And then I found this watermelon pepperomia. I don't know yet if I'm gonna get this. I'm still looking, but I love both of these. They just have so many to choose from. In my last A Day in the Life vlog, we were here and I saw these and I almost got one, but I didn't because I just need to do one replacement, but I think I'm gonna get that now for our plant shelf. Somehow, gave it all to you. Guys, so right here, guess what this is called? I've never noticed that. String of bananas. They look like little bananas. I kind of want one. This is so cool. They have a whole bunch of them here. Get one of these because we have to have a cactus. Thing I've noticed when we're at like Home Depot or Walmart or anyway, they don't have any of the cute little terracotta pots left. They're all like the really big sizes that I don't want. They don't have all the little ones that I need. So I think I'm gonna pick some of these up too some terracotta planters and the bases. I'm going with the same color theme for like everything. So pretty good haul here at Gullies. So cool thing, if you buy regular plants and pots, they'll pot your plants. <laughs> so we got half of them potted and then half are into a home because they charge extra for the cactus soil. I feel really good about everything. 
look at these beauties. So we just gotta do like the succulents, get those potted, and then we can start decorating. So the first one I'm gonna plan quick is my Swiss cheese philodendron basket. So um, this is the soil I use every single time. It's the Fox Farm soil. So the rest I have to repot are all succulents. So this is the mix I always use for succulents and cactus. We feel we got this even when the good start to see. You say this beauty is potted. All right, I'm gonna do my string of bananas next. Are these just the cutest? I had no idea, this is a thing. I've always heard of like string of hearts, but not string of bananas. So I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> All right, this beauty is potted. Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously, this is like, I don't know, I'm loving this so much. And Ozzy loves it too. He's been sniffing it ever since we got home. He doesn't eat it. He just likes to smell it. I don't know if it smells like bananas. <laughs> this thing poked me three times while we were at the nursery. So I'm kind of already mad at it. <laughs> it better be good while I replant it. So I'm actually going to put these guys on. So these are just like some, I don't know, rubber based gloves my husband had. So I'm just going to throw these on so I can not get poked anymore. Okay, just really quick, look at all those little stickers that are in this glove. Yeah, that's what was in my hand. They're nasty. This guy is done, and he poked me still. <laughs> this is like the worst cactus I've ever like repotted. It is the pokiest. But with that said, let's decorate the plant stand. I'm excited to get these on their new home. I give it all to you. I complicate every situation. All right, you guys, it is done, and oh my god, I got it all designed perfectly. All those plants I bought were like absolutely perfect. Like, you're gonna die when you see this. It's just perfect. I don't need anything more, nothing less. Like, it's absolutely gorgeous. Just a little less lonely sounds cliche, but it's true. I've been missing someone like you. I've had a share of the heartbreakers. Stop letting them in after the last faker. Somehow, gave it all to you. Is it not the cutest? Like, if I could ever want a plant stand, and a lot of plants, this is the one I want. Love, love, love it. And I'm glad I went with all like the same terracotta pots just to keep everything like flowing together. It all looks very matchy, matchy, but like the plants are all so different. So it's kind of like that perfect mix. Cause like, I didn't want to get like a bunch of different plants with a bunch of different pots and then it would look like really cluttery or just like, unmatched and i'm actually not gonna put anything on the bottom i'm just gonna leave that kind of bare because i don't want it to get like too cluttery and i don't really want plants on the way bottom but you know if i go to a store and i find something i like and it fits i mean i'm not gonna say no to a plant so we'll see <laughs> and when we went to the greenhouse i honestly had no idea like what i wanted for plants i just knew i wanted pretty plants so just really quickly just wanted to kind of go over how I kind of put all these together. So I had three that were like hanging baskets, which was this one, this one, and that one will eventually once it grows. Um, so I just staggered those, kind of did like 
a V, kind of. <laughs> and then I just put my littler ones up here and put that pretty cactus in the back. And then I just kind of plugged in all the others. So I pretty much started with all the baskets to see where I wanted them. And then I plugged all the others in. So that was my design idea when I was putting this together. The thing I absolutely love is to kind of just be able to drape the plants over the edges here. These kind of make like nice little like, I don't know, holders for like the plants. I don't know what you want to call them. And then here with my string of bananas. So it's just kind of pretty. And then when I was picking out all the terracotta pots, I made sure to try and really Really mix and match the sizes and look of them so really none of these are the same like these are the same size but this one has a little more like curved and detail and then this one's like wider rimmed this one's a little smaller and then the same with these two you can see this one's like taller and this one's more short and wide so it's just really important to me to like mix and match everything to make it like I wanted it all blend but I didn't want it too matchy matchy but I also wanted it matchy matchy, if that makes sense. And another thing, like we had bought all of these pots from Gully's Nursery. Um, I noticed that the nurseries have more sizes and more different shapes than like your Home Depot and your Walmarts. So if you are looking for different sizes of terracotta pots, highly recommend going to a nursery because they have way more to choose from in terracotta pots. So just a little tip. <laughs> and that is a wrap. Thank you guys so much for following along on this fun little like DIY plant stand. I absolutely love this book stand from Target. I'll leave the link in the bio and I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration and if you're looking for a plant stand of course I highly recommend this one. It's really great quality, really easy to put together and it's thick and cute okay so highly recommend. So I officially now have 29 plants. Can you believe it? It's a dream to made of. So if you have any questions be sure to let me know below in the comments and if you haven't already be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future vlogs. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Right when you hold me Just a little less lonely Sounds cliche, but it's true I've been missing someone